Hey, what's going on everyone? I appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Assassin's Creed Mirage video. In this one, I'm going to be sharing with y'all 15 secret features that you might have not known about in the game. Also, I decided to throw in a bonus secret feature at the end of this video as for like a thank you for making it to the end. So I'll be sharing with y'all 16 total secret features that you might have not known about. Hope you all find these enjoyable. Let's go ahead and get into these. Alright, so the first secret feature that you might not know about is how you can set people on fire by throwing the torch at them. This will allow you to get an easy assassination on them or just to bypass them while they're distracted by trying to put out the fire on them. The second feature is how you can burn the hay that you'll see everywhere around in the game. You can use this feature to your advantage by hurting the enemies with the fire over the hay they may be standing on that you burn. Or you could block enemies' paths too to get away from them. Enemies will avoid the burning hay for the most part. And the best part about this is you get an unlimited amount of torches to use. So even if you do throw it, you're still going to have another torch. Keep in mind though, of course, the fire doesn't last forever. Next secret feature that you might not know about is how you can pet cats. Check this out. Now, I know this was a feature that we could do in Assassin's Creed Valhalla too, but just thought I'd share this just because this is a feature that you might have not known about that made a return in Assassin's Creed Mirage. Plus, I just wanted to add this just because I simply love cats. I like how the developers added this again. Anyways, next up here is over how to take down these big armored guys easily. All you gotta do instead of trying to fight them with your sword is just throw a throwing knife at their legs. This will make them open for an instant kill that you can do on them. Anyways, next up here, if you manage to kill the elite assassin that ends up coming after you, if you have a really high wanted status, which you can see your wanted status at the bottom right, if you have that really high up, this elite assassin will come after you. And this guy can be really tough to take on, but if you do manage to defeat him, it'll get rid of your whole wanted status. Pretty cool. Also, you'll get an achievement as well. So, yeah. It's definitely worth it to try taking them on. Alright, so next up here will be over pickpocketing. If you go into the eagle eye view before you go in pickpocket, you can see what you're about to be pickpocketing. For instance, this white bag that's on the back of this person, this indicates that you're not going to be getting much when you go and take from this person. So this is something to keep in mind. However, if you find people with the gold bags that you can take, like for example this person, this would be more worth the risk to go and take from them because you're going to be getting more goods from this person that has the gold bag. And also, there's a potential chance you'll be getting things that'll help you with discounts and stuff. As you can see here, for example, I got this token. And this actually leads me to the next feature that I wanted to show y'all. And that is how you can use these tokens to get major discounts at stores. You can give these to the shopkeepers and keep in mind they will stack with your discount. So, for example, if you give three of these, you're going to be getting a 30% discount. Each of these are worth 10%. So yeah, this is definitely beneficial to know about before you make your purchases. Also remember to sell some of the things that you get from taking from individuals because it definitely adds up. And also another feature for easy pickpocketing is to use the blow dart before you go and pickpocket them because this will make it so you don't even have to worry about them spotting you. You'll be able to just instantly take what they have on them without having to worry about once again getting caught. Now this next pickpocketing feature, I will say takes a lot of the fun out of the game, but you can disable the timing pickpocket feature. You can actually make it so you're guaranteed to pickpocket without having to go through that little mini game or whatever. As you can see here, if you just pull up the menu and then go to options and then go over to gameplay, you can find a setting called guaranteed pickpocket. And if you choose to put this on, this will make it so you can easily pickpocket anyone without having to ever worry about getting caught. Kind of crazy. It literally feels like cheating having this active, but it is a feature in the game that you might not have known about. 
Alright, so this next one is over using the assassin focus to your advantage. Instead of just using it to assassinate enemies, which is what it's primarily used for, of course, but you can use this to your advantage to teleport to hard to reach places. Of course, you will still assassinate the target that you teleport to, but you just got to an area that could have been more difficult to get to by being caught from the enemy. But if you just simply teleport up to them, this definitely helps bypass that difficulty of getting to the area. I know there are plenty of places where you're going to have to travel to high places or just hard to reach places without getting caught. And using the assassin's focus like this definitely is handy. Instead of trying to just parkour over to the area, just simply teleport. Anyways, another beneficial feature that you can do with the assassin's focus that you might have not known about is how you can literally freeze in the middle of the air when you're jumping down into an area and target enemies that are around in that area to go and assassinate them. This definitely gives you the one up on enemies that you're coming down to to assassinate instead of just going down to assassinate one. Just use your assassin's focus and that'll help you look around for others that you may be able to take out. Anyways, this next feature is over your character's voice. Did you know if you're wearing something that covers your face, specifically your mouth, you actually sound different in the game, just like how you would in real life? Check this out. Well met. I am sure you have not been idle. Take a look. Is that it? Remarkable. My thanks, friend. Goodbye. Well met. I am sure you have not been idle. Take a look. Nothing else? Remarkable. My thanks, friend. So yeah, as you heard there, with something that was covering the face and mouth, you sound different compared to something that isn't. Pretty neat little feature the developers added in. Anyways, next up here, did you know you can stop the enemies from calling in reinforcements if you manage to attack them before they actually blow the horn or ring a bell or whatever? This is handy to know because this will make it so you don't have to take on as many enemies. So just try to get off an attack on them before they go and do that. And from my experience, if you manage to get the attack on them before they call in reinforcements, it doesn't seem like they'll try again. They'll just start fighting you. Another combat feature that's beneficial to use is once you get done attacking, be sure to dodge. This will give you a little bit more time to spare when fighting, so you don't have to wait on the full attack animation. <laughs> All right, so this next hidden feature is photo mode. To use photo mode, if you're using a controller, you gotta press in both thumbsticks at the same time, and this will pull up photo mode where you can take pictures and edit them and whatnot. If you're using a keyboard, you'll have to press F3 to pull up photo mode. So yeah, pretty neat feature. Photo mode is always awesome in games. All right, so this next one is a bonus feature that I'm gonna be adding into this video, and that is over how to easily get rid of your wanted status. So most of you probably already know how you can just rip the poster to get a little bit of your wanted status away. However, what you probably didn't know is how you can reset these posters easily. All you have to do is just run out of the area that you're in, which I'm just gonna head this way and run away from the posters I just ripped and head into this location. And as you can see, I actually found another poster right here. But if I just go back into the area now that I just left, the poster will be reset for us to rip again to lower our wanted status even more. So this is an easy way to get rid of your wanted status pretty fast. You just have to rip the poster, leave the area, and come back into the area where you know the name pops up. And yeah, the poster should be reset in that area. All right, so there you guys have it, everyone. 15 secret features plus a bonus feature. So 16 total hidden features that you might have not known about in Assassin's Creed Mirage. Hopefully you all found this video enjoyable. I'm out of here. As always, most importantly, thanks for taking the time watching and listening. Until next time, peace.